What's up, FHS? Welcome back to the Save Roar. I'm Landon. And I'm Anna. In today's Valentine's Day show, we'll be learning pickup lines, how teachers spend their Valentine's Day, who your Valentine is, and how to get a Valentine with Ethan. Remember Maddie Squared from Semester 1, starring Madison Lauer and Maddie Grukowski? Well, they are back for more this time, Valentine's Day edition. What's up, FHS? Maddie and I will now be walking around the halls asking you to rate our Valentine's Day pickup lines. Something's wrong with my cell phone. Your number's not in it. Amazing. See, look, I will fold for that right there. All right. Did any of you guys have classes with me? Because I swore we had chemistry. It's <laughs> okay. uh, okay. solid 7 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. Same. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're so sweet, you can make Hershey's go out of business. Ten. Okay, even if Earth didn't have gravity, I would still fall for you. Like an eight. Eight? Okay. Six, seven. Six, all right. Can I tie your shoes? Because I don't want you falling for anyone else. That's Three. like a seven. Three. Six or seven. Three. Six point five. It's corny. Yeah. Are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm really feeling a connection. Um, like six, seven? Are you guys alone? Because you definitely have my interest. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's a good that's one. Good. That's a good one. <laughs> um, nice. Are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. Yikes. So that was... <laughs> um, um, it was a four. For me, that's probably like a two out of ten. Are you Google? Because you are everything I'm searching for this Valentine's Day. Um, a three, gonna... I've heard it before. Oh. Uh, I was going to say one. Oh, wow. Mara. How are you 10 out of 10? Oh, thank you. Do you guys have a name, or can I call you mine? I'll give that a, a seven. Seven? Yeah, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a two. It's pretty basic. Okay. I'm no photographer, but I can picture us together. That's horrible. Okay, out of 10? Two. All right. <laughs> Would those pickup lines have worked on you? As we continue to go around FHS to gain insight into what students' Valentine's Day looks like, let's switch directions and view how teachers spend their Valentine's Day with their loved ones. What's your favorite chocolate to receive on Valentine's Day? My favorite chocolate would be anything that had peanut butter with it. I gotta mention, but my wife, she buys me a lot of Twix candy bars. I'm a Reese's Pieces girl. Oh, in those chocolate heart boxes, I like the, the turtle pecan. Peonies. It reminds me of my wedding. She likes all kinds of different, different types of flowers. Okay, my favorite flower is definitely a daisy. My wife's favorite flower is sunflower, so I think by default that makes my favorite flower as well. I think one year I got a stuffed animal. A nice steak dinner. Mr. Moore spoils me. The gifts are always like the personalized things, the special things. A box of chocolates. I think red is the color of love and passion. It's always been something that, that symbolizes that. Um, you know, some people really love flowers. Oh, so symbolic, right? Like everybody loves a rose. It's traditional, it's formal, it's beautiful, it's elegant. They're red and they smell good. I think women. I think it's more for single women. I think it's more for women. I really do. Valentine's Day isn't just about my Valentine. For me, it's the whole family and an opportunity to like show love. I do think that men also can get it on the holiday fun. Treating yourself to a little Valentine's Day magic. We might go out to dinner, but the restaurants are always really crowded on Valentine's Day. Probably go out to dinner. We like to go out to dinner on Valentine's Day. I was totally planning on buying some strawberries and dipping them in chocolate. Spending time with my wife and my children, just sharing our other Valentines, maybe going out to dinner. When I was in high school, you would get lots of bouquets of flowers and you would give out a flower to all of your friends for Valentine's Day. When my dog took our, we had Valentine's Day mat on the table of our kitchen, and when we came home after school, she actually put her head through one of the mats. Mm, girl, 
I don't know. The first year I had met my wife, she really, really loved the gift that I got her and that felt really special to me. I think it's more about not like going out and doing stuff, but the people we're with. I think the right time to say I love you is when it comes out and you don't mean for it to come out. Like you just, bye, I love you. <gasps> I think that's the right time. I think you should say I love you all the time to the people you care about, your friends, your family, and all the people that you love and support. Every day you should say I love you to somebody and make their day. I say I love you all the time. Like, it's the meaning behind it, right? I love the love, so I spread that like confetti. <laughs> How sweet were those answers? We hope all you teachers at FHS spend Valentine's Day with someone you love. Everyone has their special someone. Jackson will be going around FHS and asking who everyone would like to shout out for Valentine's Day. My name is Jackson Sikora and today we're going to be asking people around FHS who they want to shout out for Valentine's Day. Who would you guys like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? Catherine. <laughs> Benji Morris. Uh, my lovely girlfriend. I love her very much. It's adorable. Also, Cameron Boginski. I love, also love him very much. Who would you like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? I'm going to go ahead and shout out Jacquees Brooks and Brady Clark. I'd like to shout out all my homies in uh, my programming classes, but more specifically, Mr. Krolikowski. Maybe Sam or two. No. Yeah. All right, who would you guys like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? My mommy. Uh, I would also like to shout out my mom. Thank you. Who would you like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? Oh, I'd love to shout out Nate Olson. You know, that's my baby boy right there. <laughs> that's it. All right, thank you. Who would you like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? Addison Imicus. Shout out to my daughter, Lulu. She did uh, some sledding with me the other night. She was great. Um, she's the love of my life. Who would you like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? Uh, no one. Being happy by myself is better than a woman. Thank you. <laughs> All right, who would you like to shout out for Valentine's Day this year? I'd like to shout out my Valentine, Jackson. Aww. Thank you. Can yeah. I just say anybody? Any, anybody you want. Okay, okay. I'd like to shout out Sadie, the therapy dog, um, follower on Instagram, and yeah, that's it. Nice, I appreciate All right. it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who decided to shout someone out this Valentine's Day. Do you have a date for Valentine's Day this year? Don't worry if you don't, because Ethan Haidus is here to help. It's been a long time. It's been a year, actually. One year since How to Get a Valentine's Day came out. And I know my time here is coming to an end. I'm graduating this year, but I want to leave behind a legacy. That's why I'm bringing in the secondary. My, my men, I'm his mentor. He's my mentee. I'm the wizard. He's my apprentice. I will be teaching him how to get a Valentine's date. Nico, let's take a walk. The best way to get to a girl is to be nice, kind, and sweet to her. Really? No! There's many ways to get to a girl. Number one, food. Food is the way to a girl's heart. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Man, this isn't working. You know what? I got another idea. Take one of these. You know, just put it in your ear and uh, say everything I say. All right? It'll work. Trust me. Okay. Look, there's Nico on the screen. You see that? Yeah. All right, Nico, walk up to the girls and say hey. Hello? Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, do I know you? Do I know? Uh, the stars shine brightly through the darkness. darkness of the sky, but I'd rather see them as from a reflection in your eyes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Dude, give it back. Go away. No, go away. Go away. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, did it work? This is the next one. Giving a note to a girl. Okay. Don't open it yet. 
Save it for your next class. Give it to a girl, and she will be yours. All right. Oh no, we don't pass notes in this class. Will you be my Valentine? Yes, yes, heart with Nico written in it? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling this is humiliating. Hey, man, I didn't get my Valentine my first time. You still have prom. Look, I'm married to Sydney Sweeney now. You're married? I mean, not yet. She doesn't know it, but I mean, basically. That's good enough, yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep trying, man. Keep okay. going. You know, you got prom next. Then, you know, I guarantee you'll get a prom date. Okay. Keep yeah. at it. Yeah. I love watching these, and I think Nico has big shoes to fill. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see in the Sabre Roar, then scan this QR code. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at the Sabre Roar, to stay up to date with all things Sabre Roar. We'll see you next week, Sabres.